Estate agents like to move houses, but usually nothing like what Nine News videographer Jason Garrison found in Wilmington tonight. It used to be here. It's a, a pretty good show to have right in your front yard. Soon it'll be here. Now it's right here, and it's kind of a big deal. On a typical evening, the soybeans are growing. <laughs> That's it. A deer or two, yes. Probably just watching TV, reading the paper, sitting outside, but nothing spectacular. Tonight, the spectacular is a house on the move. The completion of the new State Route 73 bypass in Wilmington spelled the end for this unique house that stood on the corner of Mitchell Road for over 40 years. Mark Kratzer knew it was a gem, bought it from the state, and saved it from demolition. There's a lot of uh, uh, intricate. Uh, woodworking in the house, uh, hardwood floors. It's just a unique enough home that it'd just be a shame to have it uh, bulldozed over and just thrown into the landfill. Nathan Adams has moved over 300 homes. This one's only going about 2,000 feet, but it's a slow process. It weighs 165 ton, and off-road with that much weight, you have to keep it on these wooden swamp mats to be able to spread the weight out so it doesn't sink. And you just, you can only go so far, and you have to leapfrog all your mats up. 30 foot, move three mats, 30 foot, move three more mats. Back across the road, are they just a little nervous that it'll get there in one piece? Well, uh, that's up to them. It's not my worry. <clears throat> so I'm not nervous at all. The house is in good hands, even though Nathan's still a rookie at all this. My house moving friend has been doing it for 40 years, keeps calling me rookie. I was like, after 300, why am I still a rookie? He said, have you ever hurt anybody? I was like, no. You ever dropped a house? I was like, no. He said, you're a rookie. So I guess I'm still a rookie and proud of it at this point. Never had an accident. I like it that way. Jason Garrison, 9 News, Wilmington. <laughs> Gotta love that one. Interestingly enough, saving the house isn't the project of the people who were living in it. Rather, it's being moved by a developer who plans to sell it at its new location. Wow. Pretty cool story <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah, huh? yeah, you don't see something like that. Oh, Jason day. did a great job with mm -hmm. that. Absolutely. Yeah, you see all the blues.